What is going on? Welcome to the channel. My name is Mattia and today we're back with a new email breakdown. As always, as the last times, I got an email from the Jubiscape, from a student inside the Jubiscape, which if you don't know, it's my private server, my private Discord server. And you see inside the server, I post, for example, my emails. These are all my emails. I just post the swipe files of my email. Then I po people can review each other's copy. And then I post prompts that people can follow to practice every single day. I answer copywriting questions, etc. I go live every Friday. And today we're both going to review the email. And then I rewrote my version of the email and we're going to go over that. So I say let's not waste any time and let's start. So the prompt of the email, of course, it was one of the prompts I sent inside the, the server, etc., etc. And it's right. It's a valuable pitch email. So if any of you don't know it, it's an email which provides value and in the end has a low-key, non-pushy, non-salesy call to action. And in this case, is write an email for a hairstylist who wants to sell her Zero to Pro hairstylist package, a course in which she teaches all the techniques you need to learn to become a pro hairstylist for $147. Avatar is a woman between 28 and 38 who is interested in pursuing a hairstylist career but is not sure if she's, she'll be good enough and is insecure about her abilities. So this is the prompt I gave and let's see now the email that she wrote. From newbie to pro hairstylist in only 175 days. Easy. How I turned hairstyling into... How I turn air styling into 20,347 monthly success revealed. I don't know if this, this one, besides the fact that it's extremely long, I don't even know if it has a meaning in English language, to be honest. I can I don't think it has any, any sense. I don't think it makes any sense. But let's read. First name. I was 32 years old when I said goodbye to my toxic and identifying job to, find, to follow my passion for hair styling. Eventually, I got enrolled in a cosmetology school, and for the first time in my life, I felt generally happy doing what I'd always wanted. But there was one thing that kept me awake at night. I constantly felt like, since I had started too late, I would always be lagging behind others in the industry. But I knew one thing about myself for sure, and that is, I will not give up. Fast forward to today, I'm a full-time hairstylist working with my clients, traveling the world, and making $2,347 a month. Um, I know this might sound too good to be true, but at the peak of my career, I was offered the opportunity to assist Kim Kardashian's hairstylist at the Met Gala 2022 in New York. Quite unbelievable, isn't it? Look, all I want you to get out of the 160 words you just read is never give up. Believe it or not, first name, it doesn't matter if you're in your mid-30s or 40s. It's never too late to start working towards your passion. It's better to start now than to regret later. See you soon. Sign off. P.S. In case you're interested in becoming a full-time hairstylist, click here to copy and paste the steps that made me a pro hairstylist in just 175 days. Okay, I'll, so the email is not bad, but there's definitely some things that we need to change. So what I would say, first thing, these... Uh, I don't like this one. Yeah, it's too long, doesn't have anything to do with the email. I don't know, I don't like it. The first one is actually not bad, if it wasn't for one thing. When you do a valuable pitch email, it means, like, in this case, the subject line refers to the thing you're selling. The subject line, again, refers to the thing you're selling while the subject line should refer to the email you've wrote, not to the thing you're selling. So in this case, what I would have used was the angle of Kim Kardashian. I would have used the angle of being Kim Kardashian's hairstyle, hairstylist. That's the angle I would have used. And the only reason is that in this case, what you did wrong, the subject line, you referred it to the product you're selling and not to the actual email. So that is a tip that I could give you. First name, I was 32 years old when I said goodbye to my toxic 9 to 5 job to follow my passion for hairstyling. Not a bad hook, not that bad. Eventually, I got enrolled in community and for the first time in my life, I felt generally really happy doing what I wanted to do. But there was something that kept me awake at night. 
I found you like doing what I'd always wanted to do. But there was one thing that kept me awake at night. I constantly felt like since it started too late, I would always be lagging behind others in the industry. Was interested for female she was good enough, she's secure about their abilities. I don't know why you chose the angle of the late. I would have chosen the angle of okay, I wanted to quit, I wanted to pursue my passion, and then I didn't know if you don't know if you're good enough, do this. But the thing it's too late to start, I don't think it really applies because here the reason why it doesn't really flow that well is because nobody would expect like nobody was even thinking about the age to be too late. You're not 50 years old. You're still 32. It's not like it's not that late. So it's kind of a wrong angle considering the the person you're writing for. It probably wasn't true that you were constantly awake because maybe it was too late because 32 is not too late. So you kind of chose the wrong angle with the, the age thing that was too late to start and you were gonna be behind others in the industry etc etc i would have said that you were insecure about starting you never knew if it was the right time you never knew if you had the abilities to do it still one day you got tired of your nine to five job and you jumped into it that was the angle that i would have used but i knew one thing by myself about myself for sure yeah, here three dots no point for these and that but i knew one thing about myself for sure pretty good uh, i would never yeah probably but still doesn't sound that great and here look how you change like the i hate kind of hate the fast forward to today because nobody believes it when we use the fast forward to today they don't want to see fast forward today they want to see what happened the fast forward to today make you lose credibility because you're skipping all the part in the middle which is the part that they want to hear about so let's say if i, I will never give up fast forward to today i'm a full-time hairstylist working with my clients Traveling the world and making 20,000. Okay. Well, I don't like years working with my clients. Of course, they are your clients. Like, that's, you shouldn't even say that. You should say working with high ticket clients, working with superstars, working with uh, Hollywood stars. That's something that would catch. Not, of course, you're working with your clients. They're your clients. Traveling the world, I would say, I'm a, uh, and fast forward to today, I'm a full time hairstylist following, following Hollywood superstars all over the world, following superstars all around the world and making well over. And, and just last month, I made $20,347 a month. The reason why you're not saying, and I'm making $20,347 20, a month. And I would say, and last month I made $20,347 a month is because you're not making that number every every month. It can't be the same number every month. So you could say last month, and it also would sound more credible. I know this month, I know, and not is this, but what I'm about to tell you. So you hear, you would say, and get ready, like, and I know what I'm about to tell you might sound too good to be true, but at the peak of my career, there's no point for the comma there. I was, uh, and also at the peak of the career, I would say, and I was also offered too, you know? I was offered the opportunity to see Kim Kardashian's hairstylist at the Met Gala 2022 in New York. Quite unbelievable, isn't it? Okay, this is a good one because as you, as you remember, as you all probably know, asking questions to the reader is important you want them to say yes and you want them to engage in the copy so you ask some little questions obvious questions like this one so this is a good good thing you did look what i want you to get out of the 162 words that you just read is very good way to go to the offer or to the ending of the email never give up believe it or not first name it doesn't matter if you're in your mid thirties. is a Okay, you could put this here and you can go in the next line with this. 
It's never too late to start working toward your passion. It's better to start now than to regret later. This is not a good one. You should say, so start now and don't have regrets. Something like that. Not it's better to... Like at the end, you should end with something like, do this. This is what you should do now. So start now and never regret a single day in your life. This is a good way to end it. Not uh, it's better to start now than to regret that later. It's not a good ending. So I would change it more like the angle of it, the tone of it to go more like a serious advice. Start now and never regret it later. But yeah, the email here we have in case you're interested in coming for the star list. The thing is, you never touched into the pain points of the reader, which are she doesn't know if she's good enough and she's insecure about her abilities. You never touched into those pain points. So that's probably the problem, biggest problem with this email. Uh, besides the fact the subject line doesn't have anything to do with the email. It only has to do with the call to action. But since the call to action is literally in the PS, you don't want to name your email after your PS. You want to name your email after your hook. But uh, yes, email, I give it a 6 out of 10. Sufficient, but like not enough. You can do definitely better. Now I'll go ahead and read my version. I didn't follow your version very well. I just took the Kim Kardashian part and uh, I started from the prompt. So it was, it's a completely different email. My subject line, how I went from being a waiter to becoming Kim Kardashian's hairstylist in 297 days. For you who don't know it, this is the subject line. This is the first line or pre-header text that you can set up in your email, like the software you send your email out with to get them to see that in the pre-header text. So when you have, for example, a very long subject line, what you can do is dividing it into first line and pre-header text so that it's like, it makes sense. So how I went from being a waiter is what you're gonna see in the subject line in the phone. And then underneath, you're gonna see to becoming Kim Kardashian hairstylist in 297 days. 297, okay? First name, exactly 297 days ago, I was 34 years old. I was working as a waiter for a small Italian restaurant in Bowling Green, Kentucky. But in my mind, there was only one thing, hair. Now look at this hook. Very specific, ultra specific all the way, and then something crazy, hair. What do you mean in your mind you had the only hair? Like, it's so, it's, it builds intrigue and gets people to keep reading. See, I've always wanted to become a hairstylist since I was a kid, but I never had the courage to quit everything and pursue my hairstylist career. Courage. People that we're reading this email to don't have, are insecure, they're not sure they're good enough, they don't, they're scared to start. So I touch the pain point of courage. But I never have. However, that day something felt different. The fear of staying in the spot I was for the rest of my life became bigger than the fear of pursuing my passion. This is bold because it's basically the point of this email. Like, it's the main message we want them to get out of this email. It's very important. It's a statement, something, you know, something very important. So I put it bold. And even though it's a bit of a long line, this one is allowed to be a long line because it's the main line of our copy. I enrolled in a cosmetology school the same day, that same day, and from then on, I dedicated my life to becoming the best hairstylist I could. Cosmetology school in the morning and working as a waiter in the evening. Three months later, I got hired as a hairstylist from one of the largest U.S. hairstyling companies. And seven, month, uh, and seven months after that, the call arrived. It was King Kardashian hairstylist asking me to assist her at the 2022 Met Gala. As soon as I got off the phone, I started crying like a baby. Less than a year before then, I was serving pasta in a small Italian restaurant. And now I was about to jump on a plane to New York to assist King Kardashian hairstylist. Crazy, right? But first name, let's cut to the chase. What do you want you to get out of this email? Two things. You'll never regret following your passion and it's never too late to start. So stop overthinking and start pursuing your passion today. P.S. You've always wanted to become a hairstylist, but you're scared you're not skilled or talented enough. Again, I touched the pain points. Skilled and talented, insecure about their abilities. That's very important. If I give a prompt, with like, you need to understand the avatar is the most important thing. If you write a good email, but it's for 14 year old people and you're writing this email to 40 year old people, your email might be good, but might be good for 14 year old people. So it's going to be shit when it gets to 40 year old people. Okay. 
uh, 14, so I said 14 and 40, in case you didn't listen, like you, can, you didn't understand my pronunciation. But you've always wanted to become a hairstylist, but you're scared, you're not skilled or talented enough, click here and discover the simple steps anybody, anybody, power word, anybody can follow to become a professional hairstylist. Power word here, as I said, anybody, because anybody implies that anybody can do it and you're not the least skilled person on the earth, means that also the least skilled person on earth can do it, so you can too. And this is very important for human psychology, knowing that anybody can do it in place that you can too, so they feel more safe about it. And the first part is uh, click here to discover the simple. I also use the word simple because they are insecure, you know, they need to know it's easy. People get scared, they fear of not being good enough, so we need to tell them it's easy, the simple steps to become a professional hairstylist. Let's go through a little more thing that I used inside here. Um, so as you've seen, I didn't do the jump to today. I didn't do the fast forward to today because people don't want to hear the fast forward to today. Ooh, like every time I see a fast forward to today, then there's a big number. Like how credible is that? Fast forward to today, I'm living in a penthouse, but you have no picture of that. Fast forward to today, I closed $7 million in clients, but you are not putting any proof of that. You can't just say that. To make it feel real, you need to explain the stories with a lot of details. Look how many details I've put here. Three months, seven months, US hairstyling companies, uh, Kim, uh, Met Gala 2022, serving pasta in a small Italian restaurant, jumping on a plane to New York to see Skin Kardashian hairstylists, right? So many details that I could have go, like I could have not said them and the email would be the same. The only difference is that you wouldn't believe me because I didn't say enough details. When you say details and you're ultra specific, people believe you. So yes, these are the two emails. I took a different angle for the, from her who wrote this email. She got on the angle of, uh, it's not too late to start. But the thing is, people, our avatar is between 28 and 38. And I don't know, I don't think being too late to start is the right thing. Like, they don't, their problem with them is starting. Not that they started, but now they are, they feel like it's too late to start. So I would have more, put more, accentuate more the fact of how important it is to start. Not how you started, but then in your mind, you always thought you were left behind. I would have put more, you know, I would have put more power and weight into the thing of starting. Because what these people, what your avatar has problem with is starting. They don't, that's what they are, what their problem is. They're insecure and um, about their abilities, their skills, they think they're not talented enough, so they don't start. That's your problem with your Client. That's your problem with your avatar. So that's what I would have uh, put more weight into. So I hope you too, this help you become better, this email breakdown. As always, like I shouldn't even say this, but I never talk, like when I review an email, I never talk about like the problem or personally about the copywriter, but I only talk copy uh, about the copy. I don't even think about who wrote this email. I just read the copy and say what I think from a professional point of view. Then, of course, you know, the only point of this is to make you better, the person who wrote this email better, and if you want to become good, if you want to become better in a professional world, you need to be able to take criticism. My students doing very well, so if you want to get inside the Jubis Cave, you find it out here in the description. If not, sorry for you, less value, but uh, I'll definitely see you in the next video here on YouTube. Bye.